Oh, it's kind of sad. Do it like this. Hey, Remember, it's kind. Tula, tula, son. Hey, now, my brother, man, ma. Move on. Uh, is it not true that you dated or Dr. Kumola asked you out? Huh. What happened? We just went to college. You went to sleep? We went to college. We, were tra- we went to a, a training college together. Yeah. And, uh, I mean. No, honestly speaking, I feel like I took that episode the hardest. The one we the shot. One just did now. Yeah, with, um, oh, by the way, we just shot an episode with um, the lady who stabbed uh, Flubber. And I feel like I took it the, the, the hardest. Why? Because I can relate to what you're saying. Relate? Yeah. yeah. Have you? Yay. Yay. 100%. What did you do? Have you stabbed no, like, someone? Like, no, no, man, come on. I haven't stabbed anyone. But I remember there's an ex of mine, we were fighting, we were drunk, like the lady said, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. We were drunk, and the lady, um, the girl I was dating at the time, had a knife. Huh. But nothing ever happened. Mm. Like she had a knife, but we were arguing and whatever, but no one got stabbed or anything. So just holding it like. Yes. Test me. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. But after hearing uh, what. what uh, <laughs> Chance, speak, bro, speak. <laughs> like Tibla. Tibla, speak, bro. Like, guys, speak. I, why can't you speak, bro? Just speak, man. Yo, so move your mic. Because you're off mic. The mic doesn't pick you up. I hear you. They don't hear you. They don't hear you. Just speak, man. And shut your mic, man. Oh, my God. Cut this in my mic. Cool, man. Stay calm, baby. Stay calm. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> hey. Seven, just how I'm cool, man. <laughs> Bro, just speak. Too long, Shapaka Mike. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, man. Hey, Tibla. Oh, you couldn't wait like that for hitting on my woman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, eat the mic. Eat your mic. I'm gonna see a relationship here. You're gonna see a relationship here, man. Next to me, nigga. I'm the best man at y'all's wedding. I'm gonna see a relationship. Oh. Yeah, bro. No, no, but I hear you. You understand? Know, so I, I could have been stabbed, or she could have been stabbed, vice versa. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah unintentionally so. Yes. But you saying you don't believe what you were saying. No, uh, mm. I, I'm. No, but as I said that it could happen to anyone. Mm. A reason. To me, she seems like she's in a good place, number one, because she genuinely gets that it's a mistake. Like, if I kill someone driving or something, accident, it's a pure accident, I wasn't being negligent, I didn't skip a red light, I'm, I'm sober, and I genuinely know it's going to be tough, of course, but there'll come a point where I realize that I genuinely couldn't have done anything to prevent it. Mm. And I was not at fault. And she seems like she's at that place right now. Mm. That's why to me, I get the, 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 the I can I can empathize with her because definitely, bro, it can happen to anyone. You can punch someone, let's say you're fighting, you know, mm. or if you're into that kind of stuff. Or you and push land, someone. They, yes, and they land on a, on a broken bottle. They die. Mm. Just like that. What if it's actually, she's more of in a painful place to be? Because now she has this reminder of that she actually ended someone's life. Is it a good place or a painful place? We should have actually asked her about, uh, we didn't, about about counselling. Uh, she, yeah. she, she said she did some counseling. Yeah, you see. In, in prison. So you oh, can, yeah. yeah, so that helps. Trauma you know? counseling. Yes, yeah. okay, great. I missed that. Oh. that ha- okay, I, I, don't, I don't remember it. Oh. But yeah. that helps, you know. Things like that, you know. So I don't think. What did you think, Aya, bro? What did you think? Because you and your woman are fighting right now. That's why we couldn't call her last. Ah, yeah, yeah. We're you could have pushed her yeah, we're we're lost. Lost. in we're Cape lost. Town. <laughs> pushed her where? I thought he was from Kylie. At the balcony. Oh, at the oh, balcony. Not yeah. a balcony. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, 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 wait
You don't say you must go out the country right like Zai Zai. <laughs> Man. What did he say? I heard Zai Zai. What, <laughs> what did he say? Nzu Zai Zai. I think it was a genuine mistake, man. I, I feel like she's she's giving me that energy. It was yeah, a genuine honestly, mistake. Yeah, honestly, Because no. couples do fight, and it it does get physical. With uh, some, yes. With some. Some, it's just verbal, and then we go to sleep. I think it, it's general. She made a mistake. No? Yeah, and she's, she's uh, remorseful of it. And you, and if you check, what did you think? I don't know anything. I've never been in a verbal or physical fight with my person. So no. Oh, what do you? How do you guys fight? You DM each oh, other. Oh, oh. I mean, I'm still <laughs> TikTok. They do a TikTok channel. Pop yes, one another on Facebook. Very much. Pop Facebook. one another on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Poke. That's Facebook instead of poke. Yeah. What do you find and, uh, it? Poke on Facebook. Oh, oh you know they fight. fight. They delete the pictures on Instagram. Oh, no, yes. That's how you it. We fight on the pictures. <laughs> on the statuses, the stories. But yeah, that's how fight goes. Sorry, I didn't hear you. What did you say? We fight on statuses and stories. Mm. I mean. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know the world. so childish, man. Anyway, no, I mean, it is so Podcast and chill. Maligan is here. Aya is here. Fat Check is here. Saul Pendug is yes. here. Ghost Lady is here. Yep, yep, yep. And we are on the road to 800,000. Fucking, that's Still nuts, counting. bro. That is nuts. Yeah, like, Ooh. I zone out, I, 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 I off or out, and now I'm hearing 8,000. I'm like, fuck, 800,000. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, man, you got to subscribe right now, man. We've been on 700,000 for a while now. It feels oh. like... A, yeah. For real? Yeah. I'm not counting, that's why. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like it was yesterday. No, we've been on 700,000 for a while. I think oh, we need Jube Jube back. <laughs> Hi, boy. <laughs> Too back. Need a spike. No more prison base. That's you me. That's you me. No more prison base. No more prison base. Wow. Anyway, do you guys know the 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 top ten uh, YouTube channels in SA based on subscribers mm. in the country? Oh yeah, I, I, I can name maybe one or two. Okay, tell me what's number one. Number one, isn't it like a news thing? Isn't it like seven o two or something? Uh, Ghost lady. Uh, isn't it a soap? It's a prime media thing though. Definitely. Nope, I think it's soap. It's nice to see. Number one is Super Sport. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was along. I was on. The rights with uh, three point eight million subscribers. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. And then we've got the Antwort at number two with three point two seven million. That is crazy. The Antwort. Whoa. And then we've got Disney Channel Africa. Noel Dazel. I don't know who that is. Channel Africa. Open Mic Productions at number five with two point four million. Makes sense. I mean, uh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem I'm yeah, yeah. Guys, you know. Boomerang Cartoon Africa. SABC News is at number n- number nine okay. with one point six million. Oh. And then there's more Casper. I don't know who that is. Uh, I think it's a YouTuber. Okay. One point six. Casper. Yeah. Oh, okay. One point six. And All then right. who else is there? ENCA is at number fourteen. News. Yeah. Did you know that, Aya? Yeah. <laughs> so he's the one that. He doesn't notes. care about them anymore. He's divorced them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's at one. They at one point two million. Hmm. The Kifners, one point seven million. DJ Arch Junior. Whoa, oh, the kid geez. has more subscribers than us. Beautiful. Congratulations to Nasty C. He just hit a million. Okay. Hey, shout out. Hey, yeah. Nasty C. Yeah, hey, doing big things there. Mzazi Magic Officials at 800, uh, 878. Mm-hmm. And then we've got uh, Offense Moase Films, oh. 834,000. Well, the funniest skits ever. Yeah. yeah. He deserves 10 times those followers. Yeah, and then we've got ETV at 788, News 24, 769. La Cizue is at 763. Ah, oh. oh, Tambuza. Shout out to La Cizue, man. I'll tell you a story. I remember we, I don't know if you were part of the episode, Ghost Lady. But there was an episode I did, ne? Uh-huh. we were at, I think, 60,000 yeah. subscribers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And La Cizo was at 600,000. Whoa. And I was telling Len or Ghost Lady, I can't remember. Mm-hmm. And I was like, there's no way we'll get to 600,000. Mm-hmm. So real, it seemed dude, far-fetched, negative. bro. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. It seemed far-fetched. But right now, look at this. Four years later, right? He's at number 32 with 763. 
Jeez. We are at number 34 with 755. Oh. We're right there. Oh. On his ass. Catching up. <laughs> We're catching up. We're catching up. <laughs> Catch us if you can. Catch us. <laughs> oh, that's dope, man. Bro, I never... You know, like, yeah. right now, like, like uh, Super Sport is on uh, 3.81 million. That seems far-fetched for us, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. Do you hear what I'm saying? It was like that. You know, but Mandela's got that quote. It always seems what to our till it's done. Impossible, impossible yeah, till impossible it's done. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's always like that, I guess, you know? Mm. Mm. First Mandela quote on podcast and chill. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I didn't even want to say it. You know, they all sound corny, but they're so factual. That one is very factual. Yeah, it's true, man. bro. There's man. even a documentary, guys. Oh, yeah. It came out. Yes. I, so I'm so excited about it. that. I'm yeah. so excited. It started yeah. already. It's, yeah. like it's a four-part series. The yeah. documentary. Yes. Yeah, it started on the 2nd of October. On yeah. Doctor. Yeah, yeah. Yo, bro, it's on Mzanzi uh, Magic. On Mzanzi eh? Magic, DSTV Channel 161, wow. every single Sunday at 8 p.m. Yeah. Wow. What's it called? Um, uh, Dr. Kumalo documentary. Yeah, yeah I just, just want to know those, you know, those nuggets yeah. like Dr. Bro, like, because I, I was uh, with uh, Lucas Khatebe on, 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 on the Kai breakfast and he was talking about how he, and this is Lucas Khatebe, mm. when he got to Chiefs, saw Dr. and I was like, yo, there he is. Mm. Mm. Like, this guy was this unattainable, iconic figure. There he is. And that's a Lucas Khatebe. Can you imagine for the rest of us, you know, How just to watch. How many things did Dr. Influence? Dude. Age restrictions. 16V. 16V. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, nah, nah, nah. Bro, who Dr. How? Number one, SK, How? guys. SK, true. Number one, SK. Uh, hey, do, you know, do you know my mom went to the same school as Dr.? Your mom went to the same school yeah, as Yeah, he hit on her. Oh, I call her. Oh, yeah. Call your mom. Call your mother. Well, Lele. Call your mother. Well, Lele. I went to the same school. I kid you not, guys. Your mom is Venda. Doctor Zulu. 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 Doctor
when I saw him the, for the first time, I was excited, just like anybody seeing somebody who's famous. Mm. Oh, he was a superstar, yeah, but the more I get closer to him when we meet him during lunch, then I just realize, it's, oh no, these people are just normal like us. Mm. And then, yeah. All right, 16V. Shop, shop. Iconic, uh, bro. <laughs> Dr. Koala's. Like, to me, there's just other people like it's Mandela. I hope you're not, record- you're not recording oh. me. Yeah? Ah, oh, we're recording. You ah, know you're late. part of the show now. You must just come, actually. You know, you must just come grab a mic. <laughs> <laughs> she can sit there in the middle. Yeah. What happened? Sharp, ma, love you, ne? Where are you? We're recording, ma. Oh, okay. No. Okay, I thought you off your way to. Is it Bloom something? No, not yet. And uh, I need to warn you. I'll send you a warning during the week. HR said I must send you a warning. <laughs> What? <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> what did she do? Yeah, oh, you're sending her first warning. Yeah, I'm just oh, kidding. Wow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, yeah, yeah. Yeah, easy, man. Easy, easy. Yeah, well, they went to the same college. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. You know, he, he didn't hit on your mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was a superstar <laughs> by then, dog. He was a superstar <laughs> by then. <laughs> hey. <laughs> man, I can't wait to watch the docu, bro. I really can't. Yeah, man. Make sure you check it out on DSTV Channel 161 every single Sunday at 8 p.m. What's the, the series called? Um, it's Dr. Kumalo Untold. Kaza. It's a four-part series. Oh. All right. Yeah. So today we're going to cut the show a bit short because uh, <laughs> what we got coming up is is, is crazy, right? That's so. a crazy... Oh, we got like a glimpse of a female prison. What happened, you know, Flabber's last moments. The relationship. Mm. It's yeah, bro. I, it was crazy, bro. That was really intriguing. Uh, before we get into the friend of the show segment, uh, with uh, with that lady, uh, what do you want to say, Cosley? Cindy, 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 Cindy. Um, just some stories. Okay. Yeah. Um. Did you read about um? So on the stories, there was uh, Toya De Lazy, the tweet. Yeah. That she released, obviously, she's saying that you know she's based in the UK. Yes, yeah? yes, 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 yes. And she then on that tweet said. Um, that Queen Elizabeth II, she accused basically her, her that she's a witch and um, is is part of a cult. So she's a cult priestess. Did you see that tweet? Okay, I, I saw that tweet. I think what happened was, so there's a video, right? I'm going to read the tweets, but just go on. Just yeah. try. I think she quoted something. There's another v- video, that a tweet that she quoted. Now, that tweet that she quoted had a video uh, at the funeral, the funeral proceedings. There's a yes, thing, yes. like a, a wand, you know, like a wand. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that they broke right or something but there was some custom that was practiced yes. there that looked like some fairy tale whatever kind of stuff yeah and then she was then uh, tweeting that and uh responding to that to say that these people pretty much practice in things of the other realm spiritual realm and stuff mm. you know what i mean obviously she would then say i don't know that tweet that she's a priest priestess of a witchcraft whatever of a higher realm or whatever but she was just saying that white people have kept us away from practicing our spiritual stuff because they know the power mm. in that stuff mm. you and know what i mean look bad mm. yes and to the, so to us they will demonize it like so and so and so so if you're a Christian, it goes against Ukshaba. If you're a Christian, it mm. goes against your your, your 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 traditions and customs. You know what I mean? Mm. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, they doing it, they practicing it. Do you get me? Yeah, but I'm gonna you. They really are into these things. You know? Yeah, bro. I mean, if you if if you read ne, and you do research, ne, African uh, customs and culture has been practiced more outside of Africa right now, more than ever before. Yes. Yeah. More and, than and our own yeah. African people. I remember bumping into, uh, I, I was having uh, a, a breakfast with the team and there were two Sangomas, white, Hyde Park. Like, <laughs> what do you mean, I? <laughs> what do you mean, I, bro? We even asked them to come on the, on, the, on, on the show, the breakfast show, literally. The, our producer went to them. That cookie packers are calling. 
Babusan, you are Zastan at you, Lamar Clotocon, and Babusan. I don't know the name. Yeah. Yeah, but like one had the red one, one had the blue and white one, one the red and white one, uh. right? But even if those who don't practice particularly like is seen to, but they've got their things. By a pasha, they they talk to the 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 spiritual guys in Nyanya Zabo, and then they're gonna call them, uh, uh, uh what? Angels. Angels. Um, there's a term. What's the phrase? Ini. Guardian angels. What 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 what? Why do these Which are things? ancestors at the end of the day. Yes, yes. exactly. And the ancestors. They're, they're what are the, what are the tweets? Cause like okay, so the tweet was when African nations practice their spirituality, yes. it is ridiculed, mm. and we are told it's evil. Yet it seems the whole world understands the power of the esot yes. esoteric. esoteric. Mm. Yeah, esoteric. they just don't want Spiritual. Africans to use it, mm -hmm. leading the church and the druids all in one as madness. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you look at uh, what's happening now with Pogba and his brother, uh, Pogba apparently allegedly uspans uspansai muti. But in their terms, they call it black magic. Mm. They okay. call it the dark. The dark. Well, yeah, we also have that though, right? I mm. mean, there, there's Uktarata, like bewitching people. And you can still, you know, dabble into spirituality to protect yourself and for the light and guidance. And we all do that simply by just praying. Yeah, but they Lighting don't, up a candle they and they praying. They don't, they they don't, yeah, and yeah, they don't distinguish, <laughs> okay, cool, this is Ubutagati, this is whatever. So if <laughs> you, as a to. black person, go to a Sangoma, it's called black magic. Yeah, mm. it's a Sasu. Yeah. Why well, are you just going there or sometimes just to protect yourself, you know, because... I mean, what was happening when you had a club in Katlehong? I don't know, bro. Oh, ah, yes. <laughs> ah, you yeah, said it, yeah. yeah. You told us. You said it, you said it, you said it. No, 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 you told us. Um, uh, when I had a club in, in, in Katlehong, there'd be guys... That, uh, cause there was the a neighboring clubs? Yeah, there would be a neighboring club that would come and they will just sprinkle shit in front of the door. I was young, bro. I was 21. I didn't know what this whole yeah, thing yeah, was about. Yeah, you're really shocked and you you're know not I mean? familiar with the hood. But every time they came and sprinkled that shit, no one came to the club for four weeks. <laughs> No matter who we had. <laughs> you bring black coffee. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. okay, I was there with the black coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know what you mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. And, 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 and that's the dark part of it, right? Mm. So now if you go to Is Isangoma or you go to Padzima there in Venda to find a guy who can help you strengthen your place, who can say your place of business mm. or your home, that's not the darkness. That's mm. not dark. But they label right? it as one pray, thing. That's not dark. Mm. They label it as one thing. Yeah, that's what now Toya gets to, mm. that they use the church mm. to label all of that as Uptagati, right? Mm. To say, Nungashaba Makos because yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they twist the Bible to say, yeah, hey, what's what? I call them some Amakos in the Bible when they call your Abrahams, your what's what, your what's what. Those are all ancestors. Mm. Who do you think Mary is? She's an ancestor. The whole Cath I mean, Catholicism, they pray to Mary. She wasn't a god. Mm. You know, she was human. And of course, Immaculate Abraham, Conception. Abraham, father of many nations. Abraham, father of many nations. That's an ancestor. Mm. You know what I mean? So people will say, no, no, let's not. And then go and mention all those people. Those are all ancestors. And I got to be, but, you know, mm. not mine. I mm. mean, I pray to God. But when I mention ancestors, and when I mention my ancestors, when I mention those and those and those. So that's what Toy is exactly saying. Then they use the Bible and and everything and, 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 and religion to, to, to sway us away from our our beliefs and our things yet not nah, the queen it's proven man it's one's so at a funeral it's so crazy how as white and black people is so different man it's crazy man i went out last night um i took my my my, my woman out for dinner right so I wanted oh to yeah i could tell it. beautiful i'm yeah beautiful how could you tell no remember you left me a voice note and i could tell you oh guys were out. Yeah, 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 yeah yeah so i wanted to go to a quiet place where i don't have to take pictures or anything and nobody knows me Mm -hmm. So we found, because I'm in Centurion, and there's a lot of Bura places there. Oh, yeah. So we found a Bura place. We're literally like five minutes away from a Bura place. So, you know, it's those wooden places where they have benches and then the chairs. It's those ones where we have in the funeral at the back there. You know, the people that you don't want at the funeral, the black chairs. <laughs> There's people. <laughs> hey, so you one? felt at home. <laughs> <laughs> Try to <do> that one. <laughs> 
so we get there. I'm like, ah, baby, this is perfect. No one's going to recognize me. It's so funny, bro. As soon as I got out the car, the only black nigga in that club oh, was like, shit. hey, my cheek. Yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, so I man. took a picture of him. Where <laughs> Lele? <laughs> took a picture of him, but luckily he was the only black guy there. So we chilled and we we're having dinner, whatever. Yeah. So in and amongst the dinner, bro, there's this white guy across us. He starts choking, bro. Choking? On the food. Ooh. Oh, snap. Like he was about to die. Ooh. Oh, snap. Right? And we're looking at this, and they were so chilled, bro. Like, you know how white people are quiet? Even as about their, uh, 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 as they're about to die, they're even quiet. Hi, like boy. they were <laughs> in quiet. So he wasn't panicking. He wasn't <laughs> slapping <laughs> someone like, yo, <"Whoa>, stop. <laughs> He was Nothing, dying, dog. Uh, dignified. Yes. Dying <laughs> <laughs> with posture there. So, so one guy, one white guy from here went to that table and the wife ran to the bar to call for some help. Mm -mm. That guy went softly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one's screaming. Oh. Calling on ancestors. <laughs> no one calling on ancestors. <laughs> no one put a call on Nothing. And then. No one came like, hey, who's full of who's born is hard, man? Nothing, dog. Whoa. And then everybody Just continued eating. Oh. Mm. Bro. And, and you're like, my wife the whole time was like, yo, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> yo! <laughs> I can't do that, dog. We're out here. The table is there. We are here. We're like, yo! <laughs> yo, you can't breathe. Yo! <laughs> These niggas are calm, bro. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> they're eating. <laughs> and the, the way they do it, but oh, not even like, eh, hey, what's What? And he survived. And he survived. Okay, bro. black people, we can do better. <laughs> <laughs> and he continued eating himself. <laughs> <laughs> the same meal. I almost like, killed him. I'm like, baby, do you know if this? I've been to a lot of parties, you man. Know. If this happened in a Chisanyamo, like, oh, oh, God, do you know? Oh, oh, pity the part. I'm shy. Hey, for sec, for sec, for sec, for sec, I'm not going to go to the house. 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 I'm not As if like, you're fucking playing. Like, you, like it's deliberate. Like, like oh, I'm going like, to choke on this boat. I'm going to show these motherfuckers. Like, he only made you in a man. He was some color to put a cool one at five hundred. Who's all for a fuck? Some color to put a cool one at five hundred. Oh, I don't ever have a siag. I want a siag. A siag, and I will also put it a siag. Come on, man. Oh, my siag, and I will. In the way, woof, and I didn't know you, woof, and I wouldn't. Ah, oh, love, love, love my people, man. Oh, man, it was wild, bro. Love it my was people. Wild. Jeez, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Reality shock, yeah? Yes. Yeah, but it just shows you, you know? At any time you can go, bro. Yeah, true, dog. Hey, when time comes, you don't never know, eh? Yeah. It's wild. But how do you tell your kids I died from a steak? <laughs> I choked on a steak. <laughs> Oh, you're dead. You can't tell them. Yeah, you can't tell them. It's over. It's over. It's just Someone's gonna have to tell them. Hey, dad, you know. But normally, especially black people, they find other ways. They won't tell you the truth. They'll find other ways. Ah, dead, whatever. Oh, high blood pressure. One day, someone you're gonna piss off someone uh, during an argument. Like, yeah, blah blah blah, come on, I tumble. Yeah, blah blah blah, come check. And you think you think you're dead, died in the car accident. Like, blah blah blah, come on, I tumble, tumble in your arms. It's all inside. You know, someone is bound to tell you like during in the middle of a fight, <laughs> randomly. What's on chair? I'm about to come out of the temple. 
You know how that shit comes out, right? Like how some people find out that the old man next door is a father. After so many years, because the family keeps it a secret and whatever. Like, ah, for sec, when the baba can rule her at 14. It only just comes out in an argument, just like that. That's the hood, bro. Hey. Ooh, and that comes out, eh? Like siblings fight, eh? Yeah, yeah, like that's when siblings really, really, really fight. Some yeah. are going to say, oh, yeah, now it's a Kai. Like, can't you see you're the only light skinned one here, or the only dark skinned one? In a fight, for real! It does happen, like, it does when emotions are heightened and the fight is crazy. Yeah, yeah, man. Tell us straight, you find yeah. out. Let's get straight Random. into the interview, man. Here we are. Here is the friend of the show. Anything else you want to say? Hey, anything else? Go say that. I know who's on us. Who's pet? Nothing else. Forget the press. Forget the press. It's a valley show. What's the valley show? Yeah. Forget the press. It's a valley show. I thought you had oh, some stuff. It, it felt short, but obviously. What did you think of Kanye West with the White Lives Matter? Nah, guys. White Lives Matter when we're making money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. When, 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 when he's seen, when he's seen by white people <laughs> and is in bed with white people, yes, now they matter. But I mean, didn't he say George Bush doesn't care about black people? Remember mm. that Kanye? Mm. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I, I really can't look deep into Kanye's things. Plus, his diagnosis is not well. <sighs> And it's not an excuse, though, to keep shitting and pissing on black people. It's just fucked up. It's disappointing. But wasn't he just but stating the obvious? What? What is the... Look, the obvious is that all lives matter on earth as God has created us, right? Equally. But on earth, other people and other races have dominance over other races historically because of wars and whatever. And, and, and so we're not equal anymore. So black lives matter based on that alone, that inequality alone. Yes, in the ideal world, all lives matter. But we don't live in an ideal world, right? We live in a world where till today, banks charge more interest rates on a black guy black person. at work, a black guy with a degree, white guy with a degree, black guy gets paid less. So we live in that world, and in that world, fucking black lives matter. You know, I see many white lives matter because they're not the one who are disenfranchised. But are we not desensitized by black uh, black lives matter? So that now, when he has the T-shirt, white lives matter. Now we're triggered, and it reminds us black lives do matter. Hi, I'm lost. I'm lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> I am lost. <laughs> no, Kanye West strikes me as one of those guys. Like, if 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 he was uh, taking part in a lot of the rings, uh, rings of Lord, ne? No, 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 rings, no, no, of no, no. rings of power. Rings of power. Rings of Lord power. of the rings. Rings of power. Rings of yeah, power. he'd be like, why are the dwarfs black? <laughs> 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 like there were no black doves. Yeah, he strikes me like that guy. Oh, why are the orcs black? <laughs> hey, why? Hey, Kanye, man, is a problem, bro. Who you at? What episode you had on Rings of Power? Ah, oh, man, I'm on the episode where those niggas try to run away from the orcs. So the orcs have, have have captured people, colonized them. They're trying to run away, yeah. and then it doesn't it, it doesn't work out. Yeah. Spoiler right? alert, by the way, for anyone who hasn't watched it. Spoiler alert. So, uh, 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 um, thingy. Um, and I'm also at the part where, I guys, you guys, are, I think I heard that yeah. guy who came from the sky mm. via yes, a shooting yes, star, yes, 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 a meteor, yes, yes. that yes. big guy. And then the kids, uh, yeah, the, 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 the um, thingy, the Hoffords, yes, the Hoffords yes. kids mm. discover oh, him and yes. keep him. But later on, the Hoffords discover him and find him and like, you brought a traitor here. Mm. What's that guy? Like, is he special? What's up with that guy? He's coming. Because I'm at the now where they're like, you know what? We're struggling to travel his big. Let's use him. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And then um, thingy is in Numenor. Mm. Uh, the lady, the, the the main thingy. What's her name? Uh, Galadriel. Galadriel. The, she's in Numenor. Yes. But there was a prophecy. And one of the ladies, I think the queen or whatever, goes to, uh, they don't show the face of the person. And she says, the prophecy is happening that Alf has come. Because mm. Numenor is this island where technologically they're so advanced. 100%. Right? And there's this history with the elves mm. and whatnot. And then Galadriel is there now. Mm. Right? And then Galadriel, the guy she met in the ocean. Because remember, Galadriel escaped. Yes. Because they were... that. Not banished her, mm. but because she was a bit of a rebel. Yeah. But she was a hero, and mm. they said, you're going to the promised land, the freedom. And she said, nah. She said, nah, nah and jumped fam. off the ship. Mm. So that guy she met there, now they're plotting mm. to leave Numenor and 
go back mm. to the cause of fighting the evil, etc. So that's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. it's wild, gripping. You catched up. It's gripping. Nice so that's where I'm at, yeah. bro. It's fucking crazy. I can't wait for the next episode. Yeah, man. Make sure you check it out on Prime Video. Every single episode comes out on Fridays. Yeah. Yes. All right, cool, man. So we're about to check out uh, the interview I've been telling CDC you about. See you, Emmanuel, Flabbers, Killer slash ex wife. Mm. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's get straight into it. Boom. All right, ex girlfriend. Hey, ex girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our friend of the show, Saul. Who is it? Because he can't say the surname. Sindisiwe Mangale. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing, Mama? I'm good. How are you? Hey, man, you're looking good. Look at you. Thank you. You look like exactly that one picture of you that I saw. That. No, the one picture. There's only <laughs> one picture of you when you're in the news and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm finding it hard to introduce you. Like, how do I introduce you? Like, how do I. Well, Cindy Sue, the well, we all know her claim to it's. I come so I don't say claim to fame, but what we've come to know her for mm-hmm. just that. How do you want to be introduced? I think the first in- introduction was just fine, Cindy Sue. Yeah, but we've got chillers who are watching. We're like, who's this? Who? Hey, oh. Yeah, what this would you this? like to tell them? Uh, okay, let me read what the prep says. So this is not me. This is the prep. Oh, okay. that's speak, man. That's speak. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know who she is. Wait. Just say it. Say it. Uh, in 2016, she was sentenced to 12 years in jail for killing her boyfriend, squatter camp member Nkululeko Flaba Habedi. Is that correct? Oh. Yeah, that's correct. You don't mind that? No, I don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, good. It's How you feeling, man? How you good? I'm good. Hey. Closer to the mic. I just trying to tell you to come uh, okay. closer to the mic. Okay, sorry. Yeah. It's yeah. been a crazy few years for you, no? Crazy is an understatement. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. been a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And where you at right now? Like mentally, what's going on with you? You know? You know, I, just, I think as long as you, uh, the minute you come out of that place, you, you're in a good space mentally because that's the worst place to be. Yeah. You know, mm. I'm, I'm, getting used, I'm getting used to being outside, you know? Mm. You can imagine it's been a long time, like being locked up for six years. Jeez. You know, there's it's 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 not fun. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I'm getting used to being around people that I don't know, hanging out, doing things. Yeah. yeah. How long? And by the way, sorry. By the way, uh, if your parole officer is watching this, this is Stony. Yeah. This is cool drink. It's not alcohol. Squeta. Stony. <laughs> <laughs> we are drinking alcohol, not her. Yes. Yeah. She, she's yeah. on parole. So yeah. how long have you been out on parole? Since May the twenty fourth. Jesus, oh, like yesterday. Yeah. Please explain the parole thing. Like, what does it mean when you're out on parole? Like, what can you do? What can't you do? I've never understood that. Mm. What you can't do is, it's basically like you, it's not like your sentence is finished. So what happens is when you get sentenced, right? Yeah. Um, the constitution uh, grants, gives you um, parole based on your behavior and all of that. So you serve half of your sentence um inside and then the rest of it outside so it's not like you are no longer like in prison like you are you're in prison but you're outside it's like a suspended you sentence. got freedom of movement yeah but then you're not allowed to drink you're not allowed to go out at night you're not allowed to go to um like places that sell alcohol or whatever so it's still like you're you're under their care still. so at a particular time you need to be home you've got a curfew of course yeah what what time? Um, it it differs on Sundays because they know that we go to church and stuff. So on Sundays it's from the morning till two p.m. And then because I work, so Monday to Friday it's from um, I'm I can be out until like six or whatever. But like after the time of work, then I need to be home. But how do they know this? How do they keep count? Like is there someone always following you? They don't follow you, but they come to or your house anytime bracelets. they want. Ankle yeah, and the ankle monitor, bracelet, ankle you, monitor. You, you don't have one. South Africa can't afford ankle uh, bracelets. Uh, oh, on, we don't guys. have. Oh no! Oh. Remember the one Yaga yeah. Oscar? It, it it was showing that he's in Northern Cape or whatever. Well, that's different. His leg could be <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> With him, that's different. <laughs> I mean, could be in, in LA. Could be Las Vegas. The last leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. <huh? laughs> so you say that they come to you like weekly? 
whenever oh. they can just come whenever. randomly yeah like uh, as soon as i get to uh get assigned a parole officer mm. so there's two of them so they can just come like then i have to sign that i'm home they have to come and check if i'm home mm. so they just come and they just will tell me like open the gate we're here after mm. how they're many not going to tell me they're coming they're just going to be like open the gate we're here yeah so then i just have to open the gate and then i have to sign something to say that they did find me mm. if i'm totally one they send you back or it's like one strike two strike kind of things yeah like you, you get like a three then if they don't find you like three times then you have to yeah and then do you, for, for do you have time. your passport can you travel i don't i don't think i can travel because i'm on parole mm. yeah so you got your you don't have your passport i do but you can't travel. you can't use yeah. it no because i know you like when the, the the thing happened you were i think back for holiday you were studying in ireland yeah? yeah yeah i was here for the december holidays and it ended up dragging till march mm. but i was supposed to be back to ireland yeah how many strikes are you on now before they send you back of I infringements <laughs> i don't have any infringements wow, you can see nice. well behaved yeah. <laughs> so then so describe your week for me uh, like what it looks like right now what you do well i'm still studying okay. um, so i do my assignments i'm um, i work from home mostly so i'll uh, on a regular day, I'll do some work and do some assignments from home. So you're at home all day. She yeah, works. but I can, like, but I can go if I've got a meeting because yeah. I'm I'm a legal intern. So if I've got a meeting with a client, then I have to go and. You're a legal intern. Oh, oh, a legal. Yes. I study law. No. You have a record. What does that mean for your legal practice? Yeah. I don't know, but I, the the people from Unisa came to them to the correctional center because there's a there's a section that's um for the unisa students there so the the unisa people they'll come and they will advise us so they said the criminal record doesn't really affect you why didn't oh, you represent wow. yourself i wasn't studying law by then by oh then. so six years took you like you know what i'm gonna study for myself no the trial it, it, it showed me i was like i man, i can do this yeah wow. so i'm graduating this year hopefully so in prison you started your law degree yeah in 2017. <clears throat> and that was influenced by you you being in court your case that you must study law yeah i i realized that i'm actually good at law mm. like during my case because um you know my my legal team they were very they were very nice they would let me also attend the the whatever the the meetings briefings. and the briefings yeah and yeah. then <coughs> i would add some ideas then they were telling me that no i'm really good how was it being in in in, in court and stuff man horrible ne? remember that oh yeah, you were covered up oh yeah yeah why, why was she covered up well I don't know why. She, she's here. <laughs> yeah, why were she's you here? Um, there was like one million cameras. cameras like yeah. you know, some other people would even hide under the thing, the the table, and people don't understand psychologically that messes somebody up. You know, I was going through a lot of emotions. You know, and people are capitalizing on that. Obviously, that's what the media does. But it was the worst moment of my life, and I just didn't want that to be. You know publicized and i was crying all the time i was i was just not in a good space where i wanted people to be taking pictures of me so who was un hiding under the tables the photographers like because they try to get it from under isn't it um because here i'm looking down and i'm not wearing so they want to get the picture of my face wow how Whoa. did they get the camera there i don't know i'm just like looking and i'm like how, okay there's a person how there. does the court even allow that well, in South Africa, I, hey, bro, shit, like in the fucking courtroom. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, they steal pictures. There was one time, like, Jeez. I didn't see that people were taking pictures, and like, my my duke, like, like it moved just yeah. for like a second. Like, mm. I was talking to uh, my lawyer Amanda, and it just opened like this, and I saw that picture on like the front page of some newspaper, wow. and it was this big, and I was like. When was this taken? Was uh, Flubber's family there in court? Yeah, they were. And how was their reception? We didn't speak because remember they are witnesses, so I can't talk to the witnesses. You, no eye contact, nothing. Uh, I don't think I would even have noticed anybody at that time. Hey. Mm. Yeah. And and you, you was your family there? Yeah. What did your family say about this whole deal? Yeah, it, you know, it was a traumatizing experience for them. It was traumatic for them. Mm it um yeah but they were very supportive yeah. my family like my family knows me and they 
they know the kind of person I am. So they were supportive because they know what happened and they know me that I'm not a kind of person that can do something like that on mm -hmm. purpose, you know, or hurt people like intentionally or whatever. So they were very supportive, but it was traumatic for them. It was very hard for them. Yeah. Yeah. And who are you talking to the most when you're in prison? Who was calling you the most? Tembela. Kim, my, um, I, I, calling me the most. Nobody can call me. There's no phones in prison. Are you but saying I'm smuggling phones now? Oh, uh, not like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's on parole, remember, bro? No, but she probably had a cell phone, but, but she won't say. She won't tell her. <laughs> she probably had a cell phone, but <laughs> she can't reveal that. Ay. Ay. Oh, but don't you have a time to where you can call in prison? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah you but you, yeah, it's an outbound call. So she, oh, who are you calling? Yeah, with your, yeah, with yeah. The, the, the well, however min, how many, how many minutes do you get on the phone, and who are you calling? You get like what, fifteen minutes? I call, 15, yeah, I bad. call every day. No, on the weekend from uh, Friday to Sunday. That's it. Yeah. During the week, no calls. Mm -mm. Okay, who are you calling? I was calling Kim, my friend, um, a lot. I was calling my brother. I was calling Tina. My whole family. Yeah. You know, from Posse, everybody, my family. Before we get to what happened that yeah. night, right? Um, we always like talk to a lot of male uh, figures who've been in prison, but we've never spoken to a female who's been in prison. What's that experience like? Uh, yeah, it's not a pleasant experience, but it's not as bad as the male side you know i've heard stories i obviously haven't been but like i've heard the stories that happened on that side you know how was your first day yo the first day was terrible mm. remember i had two first days because i went for the first time when um, um when i was going to apply for bail so when you apply for bail then you have to go in for seven days sure. and um while the bail application is being made so mm. i went which prison was this uh, Johannesburg Female Correctional Center, Sun mm. City. Sun City. Sun City. Yeah, the female wing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, so you were there first day, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Then I, when I went there, it was all over the news. So, you know, you're here and you know that this person has got fans and it's a prison. You know, you've seen movies and I'm thinking, yo, maybe somebody might try to hurt me or something. Yeah, some of his fans. So I was just like hoping that they don't call my name. Like, because on the radio, when I got in, so when you get in the door, it's like, it's already freaky. And mm. you get in, there's like this huge steel door and, and there's these big keys and they are opening there and then you have to go and you get searched and then you leave your belongings at the at the front desk and then you go in and when you get in there um they, they're gonna search you again and then we all standing there there's a lot of us like all the new admissions they're, yeah. they're gonna be there maybe like can even be like 200 people or 50 what? people or whatever <laughs> like yeah it's mostly shoplifters but yeah and the males are the ones or the females are the ones who are doing no, all of no there's only females only females oh, yeah okay, the good, males good. Don't, don't work there okay. you can imagine yeah I yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. Yeah. yeah so then um we are like standing there and they're calling everybody one by one and everybody's just waiting to see me you know because you couldn't recognize me i was crying so much wow. so and then they say and everybody is just like and i was what are they saying they're saying boo or no they didn't say anything mm. it's it's you know they were what? expecting you yeah but like you know what the the community inside it's it's a sisterhood you know mm. like the ladies are very supportive of oh. one another you know it's scary years going in but like you find people that you know they're understanding even especially the um, the the waters you know they'll comfort you because i was crying a lot and oh. they always make they used to always make fun of me like when i was like as the time went on because i'm i'm very talkative so as the time went on and they were like <laughs> you know but like they will comfort you they will yeah, it's not as bad as the main, but like, I mean, loss of freedom is a traumatic experience of its own, mm. you know. There was times that I was just like thinking, Guzzi, as I miss cooking my own food. You know, I haven't cooked anything in six years. What, what were you eating? Um, they cook the meals there. Um, so they change, like, there's different proteins so and starch. So there's ipapa, there's um, sta samp, mm. there is... What else? Mili, mili, mili rice. Yeah. Oh, mili rice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so maybe they'll serve today. Maybe on a Monday they'll serve pap and 
And what time do they serve these uh, food? In the morning. At nine. No, like just in immediately after parade. Parade is when we they open the doors and we all have to go outside and they count us. Okay. So that's parade, and then immediately after parade, the breakfast comes in, and um, it's bread and um, maybe oats or white porridge. Bread and oats. Damn. No, me, yeah, like if you want oats, you can have oats. Or alternatives. Yeah. Okay. So maybe today they'll have oats. The next day they're gonna have. Uh, Brown porridge. The next day, they're gonna have white porridge. Describe a day uh, in your life in prison. Like, what did you do? Like, you got up and okay, they did the parade, and then what else? What okay, what did you do? so you have to wake up early, obviously, because by the time they open, by the time it's seven o'clock and it's parade time, your cell has. To, I was staying in a single cell because I was studying. So all the students they study, stay in a single cell. Oh. So you, I have to wake up early. Maybe I wake up at six, fix my bed. You know. Proper clean my my cell properly, and then after that I have to wear. I, when you parade, you have to be in full uniform, so you have to you know fix your hair and be fine, like just be presentable. And then you have to when they open, when you hear the door opening, they, then you you stand outside. Then they count everybody, and then after that um, there's gym there. I used to go. There's a lady that uh, used to train us. So then I'll go to gym if I'm not lazy. Sometimes I won't go for a year because. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. you know and then um i'll go and work out maybe for like 30 minutes after that um i'll go to the shower i take a shower and then after that um I'm, there's a an internet hub so it's hey man this doesn't hey. sound really bad dog there's wi-fi <laughs> <laughs> there's, no <laughs> there's no wi-fi guys there's an internet hey. hub, internet <laughs> hub. <laughs> wi-fi <laughs> Soft life. <laughs> Soft life, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no internet hub. We're in the Eastern Cape last week. All the internet hubs there, and we're in freedom. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. So what's the internet hub? It's for the student. It's the UNISA hub that UNISA put in Computer the, lab. Yeah, it's a computer lab that UNISA ah. put, so it's got, like, um, computers, like laptops for them. Shout out to UNISA. Mm. Mm. There you go, yeah. So uh, then I would go to the internet hub and I would work. And you can't Google porn, obviously, ne? But why would I Google porn? Oh. I mean, mm. bang begil. Ne? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but then, okay, normally porn is for like when people miss, you know, <laughs> companionship. <laughs> So in the prison, <laughs> when you miss, yeah, how do you get cause by? Because nigg- <laughs> niggas will yank one out. Yeah, niggas will yank one out, like, you know? Yeah. Uh, and and ladies will rub one out. Hey! Rub one out! I love that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Then, guys, focus. They call it Vix Hub. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Vix Hub. Hey, wow. <laughs> so, come on, when you're rubbing one out, right, who are you thinking of now? Are you thinking of past experiences or what? Because now you're surrounded by females 24-7. I'm thinking of the, the end result, most, what I want to happen. Mm. Not... Guys, I, I, I don't know. I think of different things. Because so. when niggas yank one out, there's, uh, there's images in your head. Mm. It's obviously... Really now? Are we doing this Pornhub stuff? <laughs> no, no. It's just like, it's reality. It's survival. It's reality, you know. Mm. You no, know, we can survive without sex. I mean, there's ladies that have been there like 20 years. Oh. Yeah, I, like some friends of mine, they've been there like 20 years, 19 years. How many stuff. How many times would you say you rubbed on out in your six years? Jeez. No, just give us a number. <laughs> what number? Like, how I don't know. How many times do you think you rubbed it out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. take, a, take a guess, so. The number. Mm. Definitely not four or five. No. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I'll agree with that. <laughs> Jeez, so corny. So corny. I don't know. Once a week, bro. She's human. I mean, women also need. So sex as much as men do. So uh, and then lunch comes, ne? Yeah, it comes at twelve. Yeah, twelve. Okay. Then <laughs> what? No, it's fine. Are you triggered by the word "come"? <laughs> <laughs> no, because we are just talking about loving one another, and then he's laughing. <laughs> 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 
this one, uh, I'm not friendly. I'll see this one. Oh, yes. <laughs> Jeez, ah. you are so corny. <laughs> okay, so then lunch, lunch comes at twelve. Guess who teaches the rules in Nigeria? Because I know in the male prisons there's this thing of bag nishana, so that to keep you money for more food. Yeah, I guess we guess to tease. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, cool. I mean, then, I mean, ladies don't eat that much, so fair enough. Mm. So you have lunch, and then after lunch, when's that? Mm, then after, and then there's programs sometimes like you. There's skills programs. There's anger management, and then I was ordered to attend the anger management. Mm. There's anger management. There's uh, new beginnings and whatever. So you attend the courses if you want. You can have a job if you want. There's different jobs in there. Like yeah. if you want to work, most of the people, but like students, we we can't really do that because we need to study. What jobs on offer there? Um, there's different jobs like um, some people work at the salon. Okay. There's a salon. There's there. a salon. Oh, salon. Wow. Oh. Yeah. There's a salon there. Some people work in the offices to just help clean around. Some yeah. people, you know, it's different jobs. They they fix the lights and mm. uh, fix the welding and whatever. It's now six p.m. What are you doing? I'm in my I'm in my room. I'm in my cell. Yeah. It's quiet you know and you get uh, dinner 8 p.m i'm guessing no mm. well we get dinner at Six, our dinner is probably the lunch because that's the mm. big meal that we have that's the last meal you get no then you get five slices of bread like around two with they, what? before they lock the f- oh, five slices no nah, with what um, it could be maybe peanut butter or that's rama it. and that's it for the night or jam that's it Tea. No tea. There's uh, sachets, not a sweet tea. Okay. That you get that. And that's but it. You don't get anything um, else. But there's also um, screen scene, man. Oh, those sachets with juice. Not a sweet aid. Oh yeah, it's drink a pop. Oh powder. Yeah. yeah. Oh sachets of powder. Oh drink a pop. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, that they serve at that. Uh, but there's also a shop actually inside if your family is able to put in money for you to buy some more stuff oh, to okay. have and that you can did, buy from the shop. Did any girls approach you and want you to be their wife and stuff? Jeez. <laughs> to rub no, one out with them. It's a genuine question. <laughs> Let's rub it out. Are bullies though? Are they bullies? Yeah. No, not really. Ah, oh, man, the female oh. prison sounds like... There's no, like, butch females like you, Anna. Uh, Let's five fly. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, something. <laughs> no. Jeez. Oh, wow. But see, I'm like, I mean, so bamba, so who's going to come and tell me to do that? Like, I'm not saying, we'll see, like, but I mean, we're all chicks, yeah, and... And I'm sure they were scared of you, ne? No. They weren't scared of you. You don't look scary, though. No. I Well, I hope they weren't. I don't know. I mean, with what you did, I mean, I'd be scared, bro. But, I mean, I'm not the only person that that. that. Remember, there's a D-Max there. Mm. Yeah. What's a D-Max? D-Max. Maximum. You? Who was yeah. there? <laughs> like, the the crimes they committed, the people that were there? Yeah, it's like um, more than 12 years sentence. Like, if the sentence exceeds 12 years, mm. then you're, you go to D-Max. So, <laughs> I started at D-Max then uh, you get reclassified after a certain time, after you've served quarter, and you haven't been a risk or, you know, done anything that makes people think that you are dangerous. Yeah. Then... Yeah. Then? I thought you wanted to say something. Yeah, no, no, I, but you're about to answer, because I've heard of C-Max, but I thought you were, go- you were going there. Oh, okay, no. Um, so then after, after they reclassify you, then... You are a low risk, and mm-hmm. it's, then you become medium. You go to medium. How long were you at D-Max for? Um, three years. Three years. Oh, three years or less, I can't remember, but they changed then, and then, yeah, I think it's three years. Yeah. You yeah. never got into any fight, nothing? Mm-mm. Huh. Sounds soft there, bro. It, it does, but the, 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 the crowd at D-Max be- sounds violent. As opposed to the other parts. I mean, it's not violent per se, but like, I mean, it's like 42 people in a cell, right? And for two women, to be specific. And like, imagine a room with 42 women. We are, it's on our monthlies there. We are moody. What happens? We are going to fight. What, what happens is when is that time of the month? What do you mean what happens? In, in the prison. What happens? 
But do they supply you with pads? Oh, no. yeah, they Is do. It? But, like, okay. your family does bring, like, uh, toiletries for you oh, on okay. weekends, on, on the visits. So oh. your family can bring you stuff. What if you, you don't have family? Your family can't afford so what pads. Happens, then yeah. what happens? No, but they do supply. But oh, they some, Yeah, pads, but so some, the there. things that they don't apply, like I say, they, they don't supply. Like I said, it's, a, it's like a, a community. community. Mm. So if you don't have, and I have, like, mm. I'll give you. Oh. you know? We we all sharing stuff like mm. you know if maybe like Bang Tengele, I'm a happy side too, mm. and I see it's okay. But Eva needs to do their hair. I'll just say you can have one. I'll take mm. one. Who was your best friend? Did you make friends there? Oh, I've got so many best friends. Yeah. What there. did they do? Tell me th- their sentences. Uh, no. Why? I want you not telling us names and ID numbers of them. Uh, just uh, what? Bible. Snitches get stitches. Ah. Wait, you're not snitching if you That's say one of my friends thing. robbed the uh, bank. Gangster guys. And you no. should be the last person no. to say stitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, man, it's different yeah, things. Yeah. When she says snitches get stitches, it's different, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, different, yeah. bro. Really? Yeah, it's different. So I can't say it. Aye. Aye, bro. It's too yeah, soon. Yeah, it's too soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's too soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were there gangs yeah. inside, though? Pardon? Oh, yeah. Are there gangs yeah. inside? Not in Johannesburg, but in the other. In yeah. the other prisons, Cape Town, the female parts, yeah, in the other ones, but not in Johannesburg. But okay. I think also in Johannesburg, like there's just a lot of order. That's why there's not too much fights and everything. Like I think maybe the waters are just able to keep the order, you know. All right, let's talk about Flaba, man. Yeah. How did you guys meet? We met at a party mm. in 2006 in Four Ways. Mm. What uh, party was this? Were you invited? You met him there. Yeah, I was invited by a friend. Okay. And um, she just said that there was a party in four ways that I should come through. Mm. So then they came to pick me up and we went there. And just when I got there, that's when I started speaking to him and we spoke the whole night. Wow, so he came to you, ne? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he Nyabuza. came to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And how was that night like for you guys? It was nice, eh? Mm. It was nice, yeah. Mm. We had a lot of fun and then he dropped me off at home and told me that he'd come and see me later and mm. he did the next day. And so at this time you guys are not official, like it's just friends chatting. Courting you. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, Madame Sagan, he already like let his intentions be known. What? Nkuli doesn't didn't beat about the bush. He would tell you like Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and how long did you guys date for? Um, we we're on and off, hey? We started dating in 2006, broke up in 2007, I think. Why did you break up? Um, I found out that, uh, I didn't know that he was married, so I found out that he was married. Oh, Oh, snap! (laughs) Yay! Yeah. How can you not miss Flaba, bro? Like, you should be out there, man. Yeah, maybe you wanted, like, a polygamous relationship and marry Habib. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I can't with you. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Genuinely, genuinely, it's a possibility. I mean, if you're a polygamist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you find out he was married? <laughs> Mm. Drink your <laughs> your stone, yeah. your cold drink. There, <laughs> they'll drink it. Cheers, guys. <laughs> hey, Penduka. Mm. <laughs> ah, nice. Mm. Yeah. I yes. found out on the paper. I, I read it on the paper. I can't remember what paper it is. So they just said Flava and his wife. Mm. So I asked him, and what peak? I was like, shut down, but I just read it. And he was like, I'm shut down, I mean, but the person that told you that I'm married, tell them to show you pictures and mm. yada, 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 yada. And you, were, you thought you were the main chick at that time? Well, of course. Nah. Yeah. And you're giving it up good because you think, like, this is my man, right? So Of course. Yeah, you gotta. Spam some do- No bulletproof. <laughs> First spam some do- <laughs> <laughs> Give it good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you guys got back together. Yeah. We got back together, but while I was in Ireland, yeah. So who initiated that? getting back together I think it was I it was you I think so ne? so you hit oh. him up be like hey dog what's I'm missing good? yeah what's good what's happening what's no happening? no no I, I, we didn't yeah I just told him I, I think I checked I checked in 
and he came to where I was and you know and then uh, it was love back kind of situation yeah did oh, you okay. ever meet the wife though I met her after the fact oh, after, after the, the incident the in- yeah mm-hmm. oh mm-hmm. so when you get back with him did you know you were still married or I did okay but you didn't care I guess Uh, I didn't. Yeah, you like. Yeah. So uh, I'm curious, <laughs> right? So was had you now accepted that your role is to be a, a side chick or did you hope that one day he'd leave the wife to be with you? I don't know, man. I was just young. And I think I missed him. Young how old? How old? I mean, I'm nane yo. Ankumbulu tsibenga ngakhi but I was young. 21, 22. Around that age. Okay, I guess. Yeah. Oh, you're a kid. Yeah. yeah. And you miss him, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I was like, oh, So was how long do you guys kick it for then after that? Um no, we kicked it until the incident. Yeah. Oh, okay. W- what happened that night? Um I'm going to talk about that in the documentary I told you about. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you can't talk about it now. No. Mm. But um you know what it was we were we were drunk right okay. and tempers were high mm. it there was a little okay we had we had gone out we got intoxicated sure 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 and there was a bit of jealousy here and there and from I, whose side mm. from his side okay got you yeah and um We just got you know like these drunk fights that Yes, I will have them, bro. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. it just escalated and because things were said and nami na ye, you know, we were saying horrible things to each other and um yeah, it it ended up just he took the wrong turn and I So did you, did you stab him though? Yeah, I, I stabbed him. Damn. Where sure. where? Um the chest. Ooh. Like once or more than once? Once. Oh, you did once. Mm. So this was a mistake. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You know, as you're saying that, I just realized it could have been anyone. How many times have you fought with your girl, bro? <laughs> honestly? <laughs> honestly? Do you want an honest, do you want an honest response? Yes. All of my girls. I've never we've never f- fought like physically yeah, like yeah. like sash haya and I know mm. yeah. right and that's fine some relationships are like that mm. I've never been honestly 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 mm. but I know that it does happen sometimes where people With do tempers get, tempers do you know get very high emotions fly and it comes out physically uh, that does happen yeah. you ghost lady uh yeah no never like physical but I do want to ask you um Cindy is that <coughs> Okay, there wasn't a reenactment on a show called Ufelan, right? Yeah. Do you know of that that reenactment that happened? I, was yeah. did it ha- did everything occur like that? Yeah, but remember when it happened I was in Sun City, I heard about it. I couldn't watch it. So I don't so know. So you've not you've never watched it? No, I have never uh, watched it. They did a whole reenactment without even talking to you. Yeah, no. No, but normally they speak to the victim's family. So I guess it was it was the It's one sided. Yeah, bro. yeah, just a whole of what mm. the events maybe <laughs> taking it from the trial what mm. what yeah. was said on the trial and then. So obviously you said like it was a reflex, you know, reaction because now things are physical, you know. Um at what point obviously you think you're just going to scratch him or wound him but at what point do you realize with yo this is serious this guy's really hurt he told me i didn't even know that he was hurt he told me oh when everything had come down would he no, was it cool no i i was actually pushing him you know like i had the knife in my hand so i was pushing him away from me oh not, yeah. it wasn't a, a plunge like no i was pushing him away so when i pushed him it Ooh. So how casual was the fight, though? If you're saying for it to have ended up like casual. stabbing, not just casual, but I'm just like you know, light, you know, that altercation. No, it wasn't light. It wasn't light. No, it wasn't. It was. The fact that you had a knife in yeah. your hand, <laughs> sure, it, it wasn't. It, it, what, it why did you have the knife? He came in with it because he was trying to open the door, not because he wanted to stab me or anything. So he came in with the knife. Yeah. Try to open the door. Yeah. He gets in there, and then you guys are having a. Physical. Mm, I talk about it. Uh, you'll hear all about it. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to, you know, put the with the little that you're saying. Yeah. And I respect that because it's, it's it's in the documentary, right? Yeah. Wow, that's wild. 
Yeah. So how did you get possession of the knife? During the scuffle. <sighs> yeah, yeah during, thank you for So the after you opened the door, he didn't then, okay, I've used this knife to open the door. The job of the knife is done. I'm thinking maybe someone would place it. So he remained with it in the hand up until you uh, uh, dispossessed him of it. Yeah. Why was he using a knife to open the door? Because I had locked the door. Oh, you didn't want oh. him inside. Yeah, I didn't want him inside. Oh. Why, we why is it? Because we, we were fighting from the club. We are what is it? Having an altercation. A verbal altercation. Yeah, okay. so... Was it verbal from the club or physical from the club? No, it was verbal. Oh, it was verbal. So yeah, like and... Yeah, so I just thought I'll lock him out and he'll sleep on the couch. I'll see him tomorrow. Yeah. Was he a generally jealous guy? Or he was going through stuff? Yeah, he was he, he was going through stuff, but... Yeah, guys get jealous. Because mm. Squatter Camp wasn't really popping at that time. Uh, I mean, you know, someone would have said maybe he's like a, a, a you know, a guy they'll call you a has been because maybe Sol is no longer like, you know, and then maybe that as well. What would you say, like, caused that, you know, for him to be so jealous? Yeah, he was going through some stuff, but I mean, guys generally get jealous and women get jealous too. But I think also because there was also alcohol there. You know, like, I think the jealousy is, like, it's not normal per se, but, like, jealousy is there. But it would, would have been handled differently if we were mm. sober. We were both intoxicated. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. my way, and it was pussy vodka. Yeah. So, once you are, your tempers are high and yeah. you guys are, yeah. you know, having yeah. a scuffle or whatever, and you're drunk. So, so you're going to just think a good scene, you know. No, Yeah. So, you stab him. He says, Nilemele, yeah. I'm hurt. Yeah. And then what happens? Are you guys still, you still continue to talk? No, he, he fell to the dr- ground, asked his brothers to come and help me. Yeah, and they came. The brothers were outside because they came with him? No, they lived there. We oh, they lived there. We were room in the park. Oh. Mm. It's, it's in Lin. Bona, they were outside. Yeah. Mm. So after, oh, and then he there. fell? Yeah, and then he fell. Then I asked his brothers to come and help me. And there was blood all over? Yeah. Damn. So Joe Nilo Grasok no commotion na bante chardin. Yeah. But they're not coming. No, Meaning they were coming but it was locked. Mm. Like they couldn't come in. It was locked. Didn't he open didn't he like ru- ruin the locking system by opening You will hear it in the document. Wow, man, it's so, yeah, it's so man. complex. So, sure. so complex. Yeah. Yo. So at what point are you like what's going on here? <laughs> like when you told me I stabbed him. That's the point you like what? Like, so you had no intention. No, I wouldn't want to kill him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was at this guy since I was eighteen or seventeen. Was he your first guy you slept with? Jeez. <laughs> no, she's been in Ireland. You know those. <laughs> Eh? We're in Ireland in Cork. <laughs> yeah. You know there's what a city is called wrong Cork. With you? No, there's a city in uh, it's Irish, right? I know it's like Cork City, but oh like yeah, you know why? I know my geography. <laughs> well, the, apparently you do the Cork ones. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm feeling very weird right now. Like I don't know what's going on right now. Weird how? Like I understand it was a mistake, but at the end of the day, you killed someone. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm in a very weird place. I feel, you know how I feel, right? And I mean, respect to the family and all. Um, A murder is a murder, but there's things that I... Like, if, let's say, you, Mac, are arrested for, um, what do they call it? Manslaughter. But you were sober, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. When I see you, I'm not going to view you as a murderer. You know, because it was a genuine mm. mistake, but mm. the Lord will take cause and they will arrest you and you'll be sentenced. Mm. You know, her word, she's saying, but what, what did you dispossess him of the knife? Were, were you it's fearing you may use it on you? I know it's on the documentary, but I'm pretty yeah, sure a lot of I'm, other details are there. Yeah, but like, you just I'm not allowed to say a whole lot of things. Do you have any remorse? Wow, though? man. Of course. Mm. Of course I do. How many times does that day replay in your mind? Mm. And do you feel forgiven? By whom? The family. The fans. Everybody. Even him. In spirit. Yeah, by him. Yeah, definitely. W- w- why do you say that? Because you sound very certain about that. Yeah, because we, we spoke before he passed after I had 
um, stabbed Whoa. him. Oh, what did he say? It's not the document. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay, half of what he said. Uh-huh. No, but I want you to give us half, then people will definitely watch the documentary too. Uh, no, I'm not giving you half. But it was, it was, yeah. it, it made you feel better. You had yeah, a heart I to knew, heart. I knew that he knew that I didn't mean to do that. Oh. oh. So did he know he was going to go? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he did. Yeah. And you had the And I didn't. Mm. You had the last few moments with him. Yeah. So when the brothers came he was No, he was still alive. Yeah. Yeah, he was alive. He was alive for like an hour but the the um, Jeez, the ambulance man. took long to this Of course, crazy, South Africa, man. right? This yeah, is wild. It took like two hours for them to come. So had they come earlier they would have saved him. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> when you replay that that evening what do you wish you would have done different? I wish I didn't go to that party. <laughs> because I wasn't even supposed to go. He, like, he asked me to go. I wanted to go chill with his mother. So he was like, oh. since I'm always not around, like I, I don't live in South Africa, so like, I can at least attend one event with him. Cause so I, you were close with the mom? Yeah, I love, yeah, I love her. She's amazing. Do you not wish close? that you hadn't stabbed him? Oh. Pardon? Do you not wish you hadn't stabbed him? If I didn't go to that party, then this wouldn't have happened. Oh. Are you still close to the mom, sorry? Mm-hmm. Are you still close to the mom? Um, yeah, no, we, we, we don't really have communication. Mm. What sure. would you say to his mom if she was watching this right now? I've said what I wanted to say to her, she knows. Mm. Yeah, I did speak to her before. Mm. So. Yeah, man, I can see you holding back the tears, no? Yeah, man, it must be tough, eh? Yeah. I mean... Mm. Sure. Yeah. So if you were close to the mom, and he was married... No, he was no longer married by the time. Oh, 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 oh okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we were supposed to get married, actually. Yeah. Bro, this is crazy. This can happen to anyone, bro. Do you know how many couples fight, bro? Mm. I don't know, man, but they do fight. Well, the stats prove it. What, true, yeah? Yeah. You know what I mean? You said you were supposed to get married. It proposed. Oh, Lobola. He went to Lobola in June, so it happened in March. (laughs) So you had approached your family? He was going to approach my family. He was supposed to Lobola in June. Yeah, (gasps) Yeah, but we had spoken about it, yeah. yeah. I know normally it's always tricky, like when you're gonna lo- like marry a girl, right? Especially when you're black. Like, do you propose first or speak about it? Did he like do the whole get down on his knees proposal, or was it just a conversation? But it doesn't work like that. I'm a Zulu girl, mm. so even if you can propose, like, it means I'm, I'm not white. So mm. those Until engagements, you show up at home. yeah, like yeah. I'm not white. Engagements mm. and all the rings, yeah, they're cute. We wear them because they're cute, and it's diamonds, and diamonds are a girl's best friend, but. Yeah. So you didn't do the proposal. Mm. Yeah, true. Yeah, because then if you just put a ring, it's just a fashion statement. My family wouldn't even regard it as anything. They'll just say, oh, nice ring. Yeah, yeah, it's just... And it's my family's very Zulu, so... Yeah, Mangala is very Zulu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody can't pronounce it. Yeah. Hey, man. That's fine. This is sad, man. Hey, like, man. This is... Did, uh, did you speak to any other squatter camp guys? Uh, Slicker? No. You've no. never spoken to them? No, I've never... Ever Jeez. since. Damn. No, I've never. But I was not close to them, so. They and never reached out like, hey, man, you killed our boy. How could you? No. Sure. How do you feel now when you hear a Flubber track, like in the club or in the radio? I play Flubber's music. For real? Yeah. What, favorite verse or line? Because Flubber had crazy punchlines. Mm. Like, he's one, like, n- insane punchlines. Favorite? Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> Hey man, I need a smoke, man. This is a <laughs> lot, man. My sure. favorite. Yeah, cause he had like he was nuts. There's there's a song that um, uh, I can't you know, see now because now there's ever you know, and you're emotional. We get yeah, it. Yeah, but there's a song that he made, and when he made it, he made it like for me. So oh. I know, like I what like. What song's the, that? <clears throat> it's one way he's with them. Well, he was saying that the the message he was making it for me. He was with this other beautiful lady from somewhere, from somewhere in Africa. Yeah. I can't remember it. He's wearing a suit in the video and stuff. What is it called? Can you get that fit checker? 
He's wearing a suit. Yeah. He's an African lady. Just yeah. Google Flab a love song. Flabber, yeah. yeah. Squad a camp love song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it wasn't Squad a camp. I'll, I'll never let you go or something like this. Never, never let, let you go, go sounds familiar, the title, yeah. ne? I'll yeah, Aya, uh, it's not Never Let You Go. Is it Never Let You Go? Yeah, yeah. That's the one? Yeah. Wow, that's for you. That's wow, for you. man. Well, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, man. This well, is I'll look for it as well. So, 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 uh, after is, this... Is that the name of the song, am I right? Is that the name of the song? Oh, she's still checking. Okay. So, after this, uh, Gaten McKenzie reached out to you, ne? Mm, no, he didn't. Well, he, he said some things on the internet but he, i've never spoken to him before yes i think i've got a tweet here um yeah he is he posted i know that stigma will become your new shadow cindy says cindy uh, so <laughs> huh? cindy as well yeah. cindy cindy what am i reading cindy 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 yes god I'm looking for the forgave song. you the family of flabba graciously forgave you you served your time it's going to be harder to forgive yourself at times Kenny Kunene and I will help you rebuild your life whenever you are ready. You saw that? Yeah. How did you feel when you heard that? When I heard the the mm, mm, mm. Yeah, just it's it was very it was very nice to hear that, you know, there's people that understand and you know, it was encouraging. It was nice. But I've never spoken to him or Kenny or anybody. Yeah. But it was it was nice. It was a nice gesture from them. You should be grateful that you have a vagina, because if you're a man, ah, you were cancelled. They wouldn't want to know your story, nothing. Really? Yeah, in this society that we're in. Yeah. Am I lying? So, depends. What do you mean? Well, some men have. Well, okay, her prof. Her, some men have come out of prison, and you know, but then it, it, maybe it, it, like it weren't high-profile cases. So you're right, though. We easily cancel men. We're harsh on men as a society. You think so? The, I think. That oh, way harsh on men no. than women. Well, women why? get away with mer- well. <laughs> Oh. It's <laughs> no, no, no man. I don't think so. No, I think I, I think society. Think so. No, I, I think like I think society. Next year we are poor. We are poor. Next year we are poor. 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 We on the real, <laughs> on the real, men, men, ah, <laughs> men, it's rare to get a second chance. It's rare, it's rare. Yeah, it's a woman's world. Yeah, it's a woman's world. <laughs> uh, how, how's the reception so. from the public been since he came out? I don't really know, hey. Mm. I don't really keep up with it. Do people recognize you? Mm-mm. Okay. Mm. They don't. They will after this. Oh, yeah, after this, they Ish. will. Mm. They will. I don't think so. Ha, you'll see. <laughs> yeah, so this is a small podcast, Nian. <laughs> oh, yeah, gosh, she's been in for six years. She doesn't know. Oh, wait. Do they watch podcasts and chill at the Internet Hub there? <laughs> <laughs> no, genuine, genuine question. Genuine question. <laughs> How difficult was it readjusting back into the real world? Like six years in an overall... <laughs> There's TikTok. There's TikTok. Ooh, I'm so wait. Ah, uh, I'm sure for manga. Because she was she was scrolling then in in prison. But it was a hot manga. Look how go on the TikTok. We all know. Ah, I mean I don't do that. Ah, that's phones. We know there's phones. But other stuff, like how was it? Like readjusting, having Yeah, a when pizza. you came out, what did you find? You like know, that was surprising. You. Yes, reality sh- uh, shock. What surprised me? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. But you're so no Uber. <laughs> uh, there was me to taxis even before. So your, it's your first day out? What did you do your first day out? My family had like a barbecue for me. Barbecue? And yeah, you had all the fun. so cool. Mm. Yeah, they, they, they had a whole, all of them, they were there. They had, they had, they had what? That's when it you had a force. Why? Why is she saying? No, because you know, there's always the stigma that when a guy's in prison, the first thing when it comes out, what he wants is sex, right? To feel the inside of a woman. So I'm assuming 
that also had to be part of your plans. May, maybe not the first thing, but somewhere there in the first three Can days or a week. Yeah. But you do realize that men and women are not the same. Yeah, yeah. we're wired differently. Yeah, true. So. Wow. Yeah. Like, so I fine. You, you weren't thinking about Vodos, nothing. I didn't have it for six years. It's not really a priority. Mm. <laughs> oh, you didn't have it. You've had it since. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh is it in the documentary? <laughs> <laughs> It's in the documentary. Yeah, There's like over 18 plus parts of the documentary. Yeah, it's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. <laughs> Let's talk about the documentary. Can people check it out? What's going on, man? No, I'm, re- I'm working with um, um, Eddie Chitate, uh, Brainstorm Entertainment. We're still working on it, so I don't know when it's going to be out. So, so no channel has picked it up yet or any of these streaming platforms, no? No, not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Or oh, you're going to go out and sell it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it'll be easier for you to sell it after this episode. I'm yeah. sure they're going to call you. Yeah. yeah. Please get a good deal. Like, you lost out on six years of your life. Yeah. Understandably so. It's the legal system. It's the law. But make as much money from it, you know? But beautifully, you're a lawyer. So you can read your own contracts. What do you major in? Um, I do commercial law, but I my perfect. Uh, yeah, but my LLB, it's everything. LLB. Com- yeah, mm. it's <laughs> yeah. yeah. Finally, what does not it BBL. Dinosaur, <laughs> 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 so I'm a BBL. <laughs> Finally, things that matter, things that have real weight. You know, LLBs. No, you need to be a rapper. Like. Yeah. I was, oh. I was, actually, I was, I was. G. I was. Oh my God, I, I need it to be. I, I need it to be. <laughs> Listen, 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 listen. There's a party, there's a party for, there's a party for is happening later on. There's a party for is later on, you know? No. <laughs> Our two ways could lead to, you know, four ways and you knows. Jeez. Steer com, baby, steer com. What does that mean, steer com? What does that mean? That's the end. We keep it lent. Steer Wow. Look at him with his signs there. Wow. 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 You got to do your right. <laughs> oh fuck and hell! You Make said that. Hell, yeah, man. Ah, this went dark. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. went dark. <laughs> yeah. This went so, dark. So you say you say. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Hey. How did you say that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you say you didn't find it difficult readjusting? <laughs> no, like it was. Like I said, it, it's a different. It's different readjusting, but like I won't say anything shocked me per se. It's just the environment. I'm not used to that. I was locked up for six years. Like Klala Guso, as Pumel well see Pumelang apparently for our one hour exercise and all of that, but like being outside and being around people. Remember I stay in a single cell oh. and I'm locked up most most of the day, like how many hours? Like say eighteen hours a day, I'm locked oh. up alone in the single cell. Mm. So now I have to adjust to being around my family. And I've got a big family. <laughs> so yeah. now I have to adjust to being around people. You know, I have to adjust. I have to understand that I can't have alone time. You know, um, I can't. Rub uh, one out. I, I, well, I didn't want to rub one out anymore when I was out. Mm. Uh, Ghost Lady, you got a, you got a question? Um, I'd just like to know, like, what do you stand for now? In terms of whether it's owning it, what do you stand for? What do you want to be known? Like, that this is what you stand for. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, um... He, someone was rubbing one out. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. My beard, my little goatee was itchy, so I'm like... I'm cooking with your eyes, like, ah, I'm an itch. Sorry, man. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We have those moments. Yeah. I have a lot of moments, yeah. <laughs> but um, what do I stand for? You know, um, I want to... There's a lot that I learned from being inside, you know, it's a female prison and women there, most of the women that are in there, mm-hmm. it's because it's, it's, there's, there's a man that has to do something about it. So I thought to myself, I'll open, a, yeah, I'll start an NPO for women. And I thought also with my LLB, another thing that I can do is advocate for women's rights because like I was telling. Shut I was, up, man. Round of applause. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, like I was telling Saul, according to me and what I've seen in the justice system, I feel like um, 
the just justice system isn't fair on women you know mm. like it well south african justice system is little to non-existent anyway because mm. they don't even investigate you know miti- mitigating factors you know when things happen they don't see they don't check to see what happened the background and whatever there's a lot of women are going through a lot in south africa you know mm. and they need a voice they need somebody to speak i want to ask you something now that you got your lb lawyer if you're doing your case how would you uh um defend? how would you have defended yeah. yourself yeah your angle yeah i think you know what i think my lawyers did a good job defending me but at the end of the day like you know what would you have said what angle would you have taken i would probably take their angle they Same did defense. Yeah, they did a good job, but at the end of the day, like what angle did it take? Sorry, man, I didn't watch the trial. <laughs> well, it, we did plead that. Okay, fine, I did. Mm. You know, I did mm. kill him, but it was in self-defense because we had an altercation, mm. and that's the truth. Like I would have defended it the same way, but at the end of the day probably the result would have probably been the same because a life was lost you know i don't think they did a bad job because i went to prison mm. somebody's life was lost so you deserved the time i mean yeah somebody's life was lost yeah yeah, yeah but i mean I, i think if let's say for example right it could so what ha- did your team fail to prove in order for you cuz you can kill someone yeah. if your life if you can prove that your life was in, I don't add in, in previous in imminent harm. danger yeah. imminent danger yes yeah but i don't think like um i think my 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 team proved what they needed to prove it wasn't really up to them the judge that was um presiding the case he already had his mind made tell us by mm. yeah yeah like okay, i could because like his reasoning for not accepting um my plea for self defense was that i stopped being a victim and became the attacker when mm. i stabbed him mm. you know Hello. like i don't under- he's like wow. yes you are the victim but you stopped being the victim when you stabbed him and, you and it wasn't intentional it's not like you got up and you said yeah. i'm going to stab yeah. you and did they f- look i'm not a lawyer or anything right i'm just la- a layman the way his fingerprints on the very same knife that you st- you stabbed him with to prove that they don't even check those things in south Jeez. africa were the witnesses to say that yeah vele this is nkuli's knife i was in his house being say alex nay like be, what be kind be of kitchen yago well it's just a kitchen knife not like a uh, eco uh, like uh, no uh, he no op- he doesn't own, he, he didn't own a goni i hope i don't, don't know mm. Hey, anyway, Penduka, you got a question, man? Hey, man. This is story is very sad. I'm feeling very weird, man. You're being sad. Yeah, man. I'm feeling it's a very sad story, man. It is, bro. It's so tragic. It's tragic, know? bro. Especially, I mean, you guys were madly in love. You was about to pay Ilobola. Yeah, we were. And what, what, what? I mean, I, I know we can't speak for victims, but it's also sad, you know, that you're very close to the mom. And his daughter as well. And his brothers, everybody, the whole family. Mm-hmm. Even Abu, 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 Te, Abu Yeah. If a tech, if a Yeah. I'm hard-headed <laughs> like my kid brother Te Pang. Waka ka f'tek o That's quite a camp. That's yeah. Flabber's lines. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have kids? No. I... Well, thank goodness. Because, I mean, it would have been a kid without... A month for six years. That's what I'm saying. Thank goodness. Yeah. Is that your last question? Curiosity. Yeah, it is. Mm. Hey, anyone else has a question here? Fat checker, you got a question? Oh yeah, you got a question. Hey man. The friends you had before, you still cool? They still with you or? They've been with me. Yeah. Oh, beautiful They've man. They've been with me. So, so what's blessed. the future now? What's the, what's the future now for you? Like what are we doing? I'm taking it one step at a time, hey. Mm. Let's see what it holds. I'm studying, I'm working. Yeah, mm. Hopefully it's all mm. Do you dream about flower sometimes? I used to a lot after the incident. For real? Yeah. What would you dream about? Different things. Like we we did a lot of things together. So mm. you know when you think about somebody a lot then psychologically you they, they appear in your dreams, yeah. Would really he talk to you in the dreams? Yeah. 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 Bro, I got to say you strong, bro. Like if I ever had to kill my woman for by mistake, you know what I mean? I don't think I'd be handling it the way you are. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, but I think she she seems so at peace because 
she and didn't like what he, what plot he said, to kill her he, man and also what he said before yes that was like she knows the truth uh, to be honest there were two people in the room and she knows the truth and she's seems like she's very at peace with it yeah i'm not getting kill kumalo vibes where yeah. you're like ah, yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. you know what i mean i'm getting happy uh, i'm just saying he's so inappropriate <laughs> 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 you are so inappropriate <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what do you want to say in closing man what do you want to say in closing this is from you. It's not a question. Whatever yeah. you, want, you want people to know. <sighs> no, I just no. I just want to thank you guys for inviting me mm. to come and have a chat with you guys on one of the biggest podcasts. And yeah, people will hopefully they will understand my story better when they watch, the you know, when they watch the documentary, mm. and they will get a uh, you know a different perspective because everybody has their own opinion of, course. of who I am, what I did, why I did it, and whatever. So hopefully, mm-hmm. you know, he's I understand that he's got fans, and they will get the closure that they need, and yeah. and so on and so forth. Yeah. How's been dating post prison? Yeah, like when you go to a nigga's house, does he hide all the knives and stuff? That's crazy. Is that what you're asking also? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> because wow. <laughs> no. No. Well, my guy is just he's a mess. That's why I was like a mess. He's a mess. He's a mess. Yeah, he is a mess. Yeah, how's dating life though? Like internally and within the relationship for the guy, if when you tell him you that girl, I don't know how people feel about me being that girl. Let's call the girl you did. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Know. Let's call one of the guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, for him. Symbols. Ah, for. Hey, but guys, guys, we're not allowed. No, so so wait, wait. So in the relationship, and kurumi ngaiyele ento la kaka agubine and. Pillow talk. I got turned in the benching hour when it's. Ah, come on. Nah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. The 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 man, the guy you currently dating, ne? Does he? Know? Did he know what you are the girl that like from the incident? Me when you met him. Mm. Oh, oh, but but not but not that tall. Yo, I'm big ass. Oh, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Then, it's, right, then cool, it man. changes things. Yeah. All right, cool, man. We are here podcasting, chill, man. Boom. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo yig, even if when they ask you, how sabi in, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistiri. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.